Good morning children. Now today for literature we will do the story The Old Shawl from Jataka Tales. It is on page 11. So you can take out your literature books and follow with your fingers. So I will read this and explain to you. All right children. And the story is about uh, a young student and a teacher. Okay, so now let's let us read a story about a young student who knew how to use his things well. One day, a young student went to his teacher. He said, "Teacher, my woolen shawl is so torn that." It cannot be mended. Now, mended means repaired. Okay, children? Repaired. Mended means it cannot be repaired. It is very old, torn. So, he said, I need a new shawl before the winter arrives and the weather turns cold. So, before winters, I need a new one because my old shawl is very like old it has torn so i need a new one otherwise i will feel cold okay so the teacher looked at the old garment now what is garment children garment is a piece of clothing now here in this story it means the shawl that the little boy was wearing okay so it was torn, fully torn. It was really full of holes. Holes, you know, when something is old, if your shirt is old, it gets torn and it has holes in it, isn't it? In the same way, this little boy's shawl was also torn and it was plenty of, it had plenty of holes. So. He gave his student a new shawl. The teacher gave his student a new shawl. So, are you comfortable? Asked the teacher. After giving the new shawl to the young student, he asked, Are you comfortable? Are you okay? Yes, sir, the student replied. The student was very happy and he said, Yes, sir. So, what will you do with the old shawl now? The teacher asked the student, now what will you do with this old shawl? Now he wanted to test the student. Okay, so he said, what will you do with that old shawl now? I will use it as a bed sheet. Then the boy said, quickly the boy said, I will use this old shawl as a bed sheet. Then again the teacher asked the boy, what will happen to your old bed sheet then? What will you do with your old bed sheet? I will use it as a curtain. Again, the boy gave, boy replied, I will use the old bed sheet as a curtain. You know what is curtain? So, he said he will put the curtain in the window. He will use the old bed sheet as a curtain to cover the windows. Okay? So, then what will you do with the old curtain again the teacher asked. then what will you do with the old curtain you already have an old curtain what will you do with that then the student replied I will use the old curtain as a duster now it's not this duster this also cleans but that is made out of cloth that duster is made out of cloth we use cloth pieces rags at home to dust tables and chairs isn't it so this little boy said I will use the old curtain as a duster. All right. Then, and what of the old duster? What of the old duster? The teacher asked him again. Then, the student nicely replied, I will tear the old duster into small pieces and use each piece, piece, sorry, piece as a wick to light lamps. I will use each piece as a wick to light lamps. Then you must have seen diyas at home during Diwali, isn't it? So what, what do your parents make to put inside the lamp, to light the lamps? 
they make wicks without the wick you can't burn a lamp so the little boy said i will make wicks out of the old duster the teacher was very happy he smiled and said you have learned the true value of things well done at this when the boy gave this type of answers that i will i will not waste the things i will use the old things in different ways so at this the teacher was very happy with the boy and he smiled and said you have learned the true value of things well done so this story teaches you how to use your things properly so you have to understand that you should not throw your things away when it becomes old you can use it in a different way you can use that thing in a different way till the end so that you you know the true value of things so this story teaches you the true value of things children okay now i think you have understood this story so i will read the story in the next class uh, that is reading time also uh, on friday and another thing is you have some meanings here children on page 11 you have meanings here you have meanings this side you have to learn these meaning meanings and on page 13 you have this comprehension like what did the student request his teacher to give him a fan a shawl and umbrella so it is a shawl b you have to tick this then tick the sentences that are true and put a cross for those that are false a the student went to speak to his father wrong the teacher asked if the student was comfortable true right the student said he could use the bed sheet as a duster wrong he said i will use the bed sheet as a curtain isn't it not as a duster so this is wrong d the teacher was happy with the student yes so right now reference to the context number 3 you have learned the true value of things well done who says this the teacher says this okay b to whom does he say it he says it to the student he said it to the student okay he says this line to the to his student c what does true value of things mean true value of things mean not wasting the things and using it properly okay children so this way you can do these also all right so you can do in your copy okay thank you children meet you in the next class